hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel it is definitely winter right now like johannesburg is getting very very cold now anyway i got you so today i am showing you guys how to make the warmest nicest very flavorful butternut soup like i really 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 enjoy butternut soup anyway without wasting any of your time we are going to get into this video i will show you all the ingredients that we are going to use today but for the spices i really think you can use the spices that you love but these are my suggested spices and you can go a little less than i do because i do not shy away from seasoning i like spicy stuff i really like a lot of flavor so i would recommend that you go half on the spices that i poured and you should have a very perfect warm butter nut soup let me stop rambling and let's get into the video but first subscribe like comment and share i love you very much i hope you enjoyed this video for the vegetables you are going to need one large butternut one large carrot the carrot just adds a hint of sweetness a quarter of an onion and a quarter of each color of pepper red yellow and green and now i'm going to show you all the spices and all the other things that you need to add for the spices you are going to need some cinnamon and then nutmeg and then you're going to need a medium raja curry powder and then some cayenne pepper some paprika and then some garlic and herb if you have fresh garlic use that and then some black pepper and then some stock pot that we are going to dissolve in some water to make a vegetable broth and something that i did not show in this video uh we are also going to need some fresh cream okay let's get started so these are my vegetable washed cut peeled and everything so my onion i ended up using a half because my onion was quite tiny but if your onion is big use a cutter so now we are adding all those nice fragrant spices that we spoke about earlier into the large bowl with our butternut yes guys the aroma of cinnamon and nutmeg mixed together so if you do not like much heat in your food please do skip the cayenne pepper and the paprika they are optional spices okay and then we just add everything in there the measurements of the spices should be in the video in the beginning where we spoke about the spices so don't worry much about them here and really you can customize them to your liking and then we're just giving everything a very good whisk and then i'm just adding a drizzle of canola oil you can also use uh what do we call this extra virgin olive oil and then i'm just adding the rest of my vegetables but the onion and giving everything a very good mix and then we are going to set this aside and prep our baking tray by just spraying it with some non-stick spray you really want to be generous with the non-stick cooking spray because you don't want your vegetables sticking all over your dish you want to be able to remove them properly so now you just throw all your veggies and sort of like spread them out on your baking tray spread 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 so that they are not lying on top of each other as much although my baking tray is a little bit small but we're gonna make it work and then without being any uniform you just break apart your onion and throw it on top as well and toss it in with your vegetables and after this we are going to be ready to bake well i'll be baking this at 180 degrees and it did take about 45 minutes so you just want to cook your vegetables until you can pierce them with a fork So 
so when you have only like five minutes left of your baking you want to start working on your stock so you just take one of the vegetable stock pots and then you throw them into the hot water which is two cups and then you're going to give everything a very good stir as to create this nice vegetable uh, broth and then that's going to be the liquid part of our soup making our soup very smooth and creamy and then we are going to use the fresh cream as well once everything is out of the oven okay now that your vegetables are out of the oven you just want to put them back into a big bowl a clean one this time yes and then yeah we are going to be ready to blend for this video i am using an immersion blender but you can use your regular blender it's because i don't have the blender that i am using <laughs> an immersion blender anyway just put all your veggies in there so now that your vegetables are all in the bowl you are going to add your stock slowly i repeat add it slowly because if you have a smaller pumpkin and you add it too fast you might end up having water instead of a soup so yeah you just add the stock and the cream slowly so that you don't over saturate your yeah your mixture so we are going to blend and blend and blend until it is a very very smooth so if you're using one of those nice blenders it will quite blend fast but because I'm using an immersion blender it takes a teeny bit longer but let's just blend our lives so I'm just really blending and I'll continue adding the stock as required i ended up using a whole two cups of it because i really needed it you can see that fragrant yellow mustardy color is color fragrant anyway it's starting to show so now i'm just adding my one third of a cup of fresh what am I saying of fresh cream and then I'm just blending also if you like it more creamy you can do more cream compared to stock like soups are very flexible I'm just adding more stock as required and then just keep blending I'll be here to show you the final consistency once I've dished in a plate but we are really done for the video subscribe subscribe mm -mm -mm. how beautiful is that like I want to eat it now anyway this is what it looked like while i was eating it with my bread this was dinner time so it was really warm and creamy i kept it to a very thickish consistency thank you very much for watching and for sticking through till the end i love you very much and i appreciate your support please remember to subscribe like comment and share and also please follow me on my instagram page i have a cooking instagram page called cooking with anza there i share all my ingredients and how i would serve most of these dishes that i prepare for you guys on youtube thank you very much and bye